Hey, Christy. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Where are you quarantined-ish right now? Well, um, I, you know, live in L.A., but Nashville, and then I, um, I'm i uh, here in Florida visiting some family. How's that going for you? Pretty good? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just hard because we have to be distanced, right? So, like, I can't hug anybody, can't get close to anyone. So, um, but, yeah, how are you? I'm all right. Same kind of thing. I went to see my girlfriend's parents, and uh, we drove and met them halfway. She hadn't seen her family in a long time, and, you know, we didn't hug them at all. So it was, like you said, interesting because we wanted to see them. I'm sure you want to see your family, but you also, if you do happen to have something, you don't want to give it to them, you know? Right. And that's the reason why I was waiting for so long, staying in Nashville for so many months uh, before seeing my family. And then I was like, you know what? I just, I'm just going to go and then I'll just distance. And <laughs> while it's not going to be, you know, what we, what we want, at least it's something. It's something. Well, I got a lot of stuff to talk to you about. Let's talk about your music first because I think, you know, I've seen you perform a couple times. I was at the ACM. Is that, is that where it was when you sang with... Um, Last year with Carrie and Maddie and Tay. That was yes. ACM, right? Okay, I was there, and I think I saw you at CMT. So I've been able to see you sing, and each time I'm like, holy crap, like, who knew that she could sing that great? So that's a compliment, by the way. Like, when I say holy crap, like, that's, that's, that's freaking cool. Like, like, good on you. That's what I mean by that. So let's talk well, about... I appreciate that very much coming from you. Your music first. How long have you been not singing, but singing at a level where you go, I think I want to do this on a professional stage? Oh, gosh. Um, oof. it wasn't really until I met my manager at an open call, um, at the Holiday Inn in Gainesville, Florida, where I'm from, <laughs> where I'm actually currently visiting my family social distancing. Um, and I was going for her, uh, she wanted to be a print model and then lo and behold, I ended up auditioning and music, I, you know, was my first love. So I thought, okay, this is what I want to do. But I didn't know, like, I could ever have the ability to do it or, the, you know, the resources coming from such a small town. And um, it wasn't really until I met my manager and we were sort of like, okay, like, let's maybe do a demo or let's somehow, you know, um, get this music thing going. And then she was like, you know what, let's focus on acting. So I put that all to the side and music was like, you know, an afterthought for her and I was like, no, but this is what I want to do. And so it was probably when I was like 19, 20 that I thought, okay, if I can try to do it or have the resources to do it, I want to try. But um, again, it was sort of pushed to the back burner. So, Well, here we are. And y your song is called Talking to God. And before we talk about any of your acting or, or have some questions about your life, I want to know about this song so we can play it and kind of actually feel what this is about to you. Oh, my goodness. So this song was actually found... Um, and written at an Ashley McBride writer's retreat. And one of my dear friends was on that retreat and she sent me the song and I just fell in love with it. Um, I feel like it's a story that I wanted to tell and I, I live it, you know, I think we can all understand that we have, uh, decisions that we make that we might've regretted, um, or people in our lives that who are no longer in our lives, but we still think about them and, and pray about them and wish them well. So it just, it was something that I, I had to be a part of. So I basically was like, wait, I need to cut it. I have to do it. So. And so you, I'm looking at the, the writers here of the song, and I do see Ashley McBride. She was one of the writers on the song? Yes. Yeah, wow. it was on her writer's retreat. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, they wrote it, and, you know, I was gifted. To, I was gifted it because um, I don't think it fit on her album. Um and, yeah, I'm really, really grateful and super happy about that. Well, let me ask you about, because, you know, in order to have a song work as an artist, as, as you're performing it, you got to kind of feel it in some way. So what are you thinking yeah. about whenever you're singing Talking to God? Well, you know, as some people might know, I was previously married <laughs> for um, uh, quite some time, quite some time ago. And I just realized how much I learned from that relationship and the things that I wish I would have done differently. And one of the lines of the song is, um, um, it still stings a little bit, so many things I would have done different. And, you know, you, hopefully, as, as humans, we evolve, and, and the more we know, the better we, we get. Um, and I'd like to think that, you know, um, a better friend, daughter, 
partner, girlfriend, um, than I was before because I learned so much in that, that marriage. And while we're not each other's forever person, uh, we are friendly and I, you know, I wish him well. So that for me is, you know, or even if it's a friendship, it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. But for me, I think about, you know, my ex-husband and who I used to be and who I'm becoming. So you grew up in Japan until you were eight. Did you learn Japanese mm-hmm. growing up? Do you know, I was learning it. I was learning it with English, and I, you know, I guess I was lazy daisy. I was like, nope, not having it. So I didn't, you know, it didn't stick with me. Um, my mom's, you know, sort of conversational, but it never stuck. So I know, womp womp. What a sad story. You know, I'll talk <laughs> no. to a, a lot of writers about when they were in a writing room and they were writing a song, and you know, it's tough to remember. Sometimes for them, if they write a bunch, you know, when they were coming up with an idea, and, and the same thing if I talk to an actor, I'm like, hey, do you remember what the audition was like when you walked in the room? So I want to ask you that, like, what was the audition for you when you first heard about This Is Us? Well, I was, at the time, a talent agent, um, and I was a talent agent for many years, so I never really had a lot of auditions. And especially not ones uh, of this caliber. Dan Fogelman, who is, you know, infamous for the incredible Crazy Stupid Love film, and he wrote Cars, and, um, you know, Danny Collins. Like, he's just an incredible writer. And I I had a friend who messaged me, and she was like, Chrissy, there is this pilot that Dan Fogelman's doing, and I think you're completely right for this role. And I was like, yeah, right. I've never tested for a show in my life. It's not going to happen. If I get the audition, which is not going to happen, then I'll go. Because I didn't think she'd get it, you know. I didn't think they'd want to see me. And um, sure enough, I got the audition. And I remember going to the Sony Studios where the auditions were held. You know, you pull in. You have to go through the whole security situation. And I just remember, like, the birds were birdier. The sky was blue. <laughs> it, was like, it was like an audition experience I never had before. Usually you're like, womp, womp, womp. You have your best freeway audition, you know while you're on the road, and then you bomb in the room. But, like, even the security guys that were, you know, sort of ushering me along to the room were, like, it it was like I was in a Disney musical. They're like, good morning, good morning. And I was like, what is going on? And then I get in the room, and I I was like, okay. Like, as I'm reading the, the, the scene, and it was the scene with Kevin and Kate when she has just fallen off the scale and injured her ankle, and I remember thinking, I am a terrible actor. Like, I don't, what am I doing here? They are not going to hire me. And they had me read it again, and I left. And I was like, great, great. Everything that I had hoped (laughs) it was going to be just went out the window. And, um, yeah, that was the the first audition. I got to assume, too, that there are different levels. So you you do the audition. uh, You you get a callback or you get the role. Then you shoot the pilot. Then you don't know if the pilot's going to get picked up, right? So it's like another level of, of, oh, boy, let's sit and oh. wait. Oh, well, before that, if we can go back. So I got the, you know, the audition. I had a callback. The callback, I thought, went pretty well. Um, the other producers were very helpful, and they were like, oh, go get your purse in the lobby and, like, bring it, like, walk in the door as if you're walking in the front door after the date with Toby. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is, like, that's promising. And then when they called my agent to have me test, we, of course, they're like, five different people who test for your particular role. So I tested and went through like the whole day process. We get paired up with different actors, you know, obviously different Kevins, different Randalls. Um, and then they were like, oh, we can't make a decision. We have to have, test you again. Oh. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I am frightened. What is, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but I really thought it was this other girl's role because she was just spectacular and funny and beautiful and charming and I was like, well, it's hers. And she's like, no, I think it's yours. And so, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch before that even happened. And then, you know, you go to shoot the pilot and then you have to wait for, you know, six months while you're broke and uh, not sure if your life is going to completely change in the way that you hope. So, yeah, it was, it was a journey for sure. Do you think that once This Is Us wraps, and you know, they say after six seasons, uh, do you think you'll move to Nashville? Well, I bought a home in February. So, in Nashville. Um, so, you know, you know, because I've been coming back and forth for two and a half, like almost a year and a half, almost two years, songwriting, because I was just going to do it on my own dime. Um, I just want to be in the process of songwriting and getting music out. 
that I it just made sense for me to move there, and I was going back so frequently. And also, it's a seven-hour drive from home uh, to Nashville. So, yeah, I, I love it. I really, really love it in Nashville. It feels, feels very right. Are you a gator? When I'm there. Are you, are you a Florida gator? You know, I didn't, I, my mom um, worked there for many, many moons, and, of course, I used to park cars during game days, but I never went to U.S., I went to the School of Hard Knocks in Los Angeles. <laughs> so, um, but yes, by, yes, I am a Gator fan for sure. We're on in, in Gainesville, and it, they're just wonderful. And I'm from Arkansas, so all the SEC folks, we, we punch each other in the face, but we love each other. And, you know, uh, right. I, I've been down there a few times, and it's, they love, they have such love, and we love them too. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool that you're calling us from down there. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's just like, even exciting to talk to you. Do you um, see, here's my really question true. for you, Chris. I appreciate that, by the way. Sorry, I was just get, I was getting so excited about these questions. Do you sing on set? <laughs> Does your cast think of you as the girl who's always singing on set? Yeah, I mean, between Chris and I, we are constantly singing, hmm. uh, for sure. And I'm the person who, like, I would rather sing than, than speak, <laughs> which is kind of obnoxious, but, uh, but I am that person for sure. Well, I don't know if it's a good thing, but. it has been it's been great to talk with you. Um, I I did see, and this is the the, the final episode for for me on American Idol. It, it airs on on Sunday because I work on that show. And I saw a note here that says that you auditioned for American Idol back in two thousand seven. So I, I didn't want to leave you until I asked you oh, about that. Lovely. So tell me about that experience for you. Let me tell you about <laughs> it. Let me tell you about that experience. Um, so I was married at the time. My husband and I, we. We drove down to San Diego. It was in the Charger Stadium, and I waited for many, many hours, and I got third-degree sunburn. <laughs> it was, it was uh, quite an adventure. And then um, I finally got called up to, you know, the, the rows of tents, and I remember he said, okay, you have, like, a certain amount of time to sing your, your first audition, and uh, we'll, we'll stop you if, if we need to. And I remember singing, and the guy was like, "Okay, you know, you know, we appreciate you guys coming down here, but it's just not, it's not the, it's just not going to be this year." And I looked at him <laughs> and I said, "I think you're wrong." <laughs> and he was like, "Excuse me," I said, "I think you're wrong." I said, "I think there's incredible singers, not only in, in this group, but I don't know. I just think you're wrong." And these two judges on the other side of the tent, um, who are auditioning their own groups, were like, "Come over here." what's going on over there? I said, well, I just think that he made a, a poor decision. And she's like, is that so? And I said, yeah. And I, um, I ended up singing again for her and she gave me a ticket to go to the next round. Wow. It so, worked. Uh, it w- Listen, I think if anything, they were like, Oh, she's sassy and she wants it. And, uh, you know, we're, we we want to see what this is all about. So sometimes the squeaky wheel guys get the grease. Did you sing in front of the judges? You know, I sang in front of, uh, uh, Simon and Nigel, Simon Fuller and Nigel Lisko. Yeah, the producers. Um, uh, yes, th- through, but I never got through like wow. the act- to the actual judges. That's yeah, so interesting. So there was a couple rounds before them, but then, um, then I sang for them. There are so many um, artists now that that I know that uh, Hillary Scott, uh, Colby Calais, yes. who are all like, you know, we didn't get on Idol, and uh, here Amber we are. Riley. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, hey, Chrissy, right. it's been a, it's been a real treat to talk with you um, again. You I've watched you sing a couple times. I'm just blown away at how talented you are. Congratulations on, on a really good song, and I look forward to, uh, to seeing you around town. I have a lot of friends who have written with you and you know, just love you as a person, so uh, it's, oh. it's fantastic to finally get to catch up with you. Yeah, I appreciate it so much, and I hope you stay well, and hope to see you soon. All right, see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye. Okay.